Well, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, uh, this is Brother West. This is me again uh, with another word of encouragement uh, for you today. Um, listen to this. Listen to this. Now, this message, this message that I'm uh, coming with today, the title of it is Grow Up. That's what it is. God has put it in my spirit, in my heart, and he's been speaking to me. And he's telling me uh, to tell many that are listening to me today to grow up. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain what he means by that. Um, I'm going to explain it. And I'm going to give you two scriptures. The two scriptures I'm going to uh, go from, it's going to be um, 1 Corinthians 13, 11, And also Hebrews, the sixth chapter and the first verse. And this is going to happen now. Well, hello. I'm back. Um, this is Brother Wes. I'm back. I'm back with the word. And I'm back with a message that's going to really help someone. It's going to really help someone. And and basically, um, my premise, it comes from 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, and the 11th verse. And it was Apostle Paul. It was Apostle Paul, and he was explaining uh, different places in his life, different, um, uh, different mindsets, uh, different behaviors, different uh, stages in his life. He was explaining it. And this is what he was saying in the 11th verse. It says that when I was a child, I mind those things as a child. But when I became a man, I put away those childish things. And if you notice that word, put away, put away, those are the two words um, that God wants you to do, put away, put away. And so in other words, grow up, put away childishness. And, and and I can say this is that there are some of you that are listening to me is that you're dealing with a, a, a topic, a relationship, or um, something that you've been dealing with for so long that it's gotten to a point where now it's become stale. And let me explain that. Say, for example, preservatives like um, uh, meats fruits, vegetables. Now, all of those, they need to be, in order for them to be preserved, they need to be in a container. They need to be a container and put in the refrigerator. But, if the top is left off and it's left unattended, then what will happen is that what was being covered and what was being protected on the inside will spoil. Let me explain. Many of you, there, there are certain things certain conversations that you keep thinking about. There are certain uh, episodes in your life, certain relationships that, that you keep playing in your mind. And if you've been playing them in your mind so much that has made you, that has made you become, that has made you um, a look a certain way. It's made you appear a certain way. See, because we are what we think, but also we are what we eat. The Bible says that as a man think of in his heart, so is he. So in other words, many of you, because you've thought so much about a certain thing, you actually, the characteristics, you look like, you act like the very thing that you're thinking inside. You can't hide it no more. You cannot hide it no more. And so so God wants you to bury that. God wants you to kill that. He wants you to have a, 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 a ceremony for that thing. And see, because that thing is thinking. It's thinking. And see, see, God wants you to get rid of it. God wants you to put it away. He wants you to put away it and forgive. Forgive. That's the only way that particular smell or that particular thing that is being presented and that others are seeing is there. The only way, you, only way it's going to leave is you got to forgive. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. Why keep arguing? Why keep talking about the same old thing if there's no fruit for, for it? Why? Why? If it's already done, if it's already happened, why keep talking about it? Why keep talking about it? And see, see God, what God wants us to do also, he wants us to change our mindset. He wants you to change your mindset. He wants you to stop thinking about that particular thing. See, because you keep thinking about that thing, this is why it keeps talking. 
This is why it's in your relationship. This is what's in your this is what's in your life. This is what's in your mind. This is what's blocking you from moving forward. It really is. And now check this out. Hebrews, the sixth chapter, and the first verse says, it tells us to let's go to perfection. It tells us to 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 um, um, stop thinking about uh, dead works, uh, repentance, how you're going to be baptized. But the Bible tells us to, to let's go into perfection, not worry about how you were saved and how you was baptized, but let's go forward. And that word perfection, you know what that word perfection means? That word perfection means to grow up, to mature. That's what I'm saying. That's what Paul was saying. Paul was saying, I matured. I matured when I was a child. The things, the conversations, the places that I went, uh, the arguments that I had. I did that when I was a child. That was a mindset. And so, as many of you, you keep entertaining a certain conversation. You keep entertaining a certain mindset. You keep under, And see, see, the Bible tells us to avoid foolish babbling. Things that gonna gender strife. See, if if a certain thing keep talking, it, it keep coming at you, and it's negative and it's unfruitful. Why entertain it? Why entertain it? Why entertain it? Kill it. And the way to kill it, you know how to kill it? Ignore it. Ignore those thoughts. Ignore those feelings. Ignore those moves. And so, and see the thing about it, you feel justified. You feel justified in talking. You feel justified in doing certain things. You feel justified in it. You feel justified in, 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 in your position, your mindset. You feel it is okay to talk about this person. You feel it is okay uh, to keep talking about them and, and, and keep uh, keeping up dust, to keep keeping up mess. You think it's okay. And see, the reason why you, you, you're talking about it is because you don't have no closure, because you want to get the person back. Because you feel like you feel like you've been done wrong, so that you feel like, and you feel like the other person has become unpunished. That's why you're talking, and that's why you feel the way you're feeling. Because really, you want you want them to you want them to feel like you feel. You want them to hurt like you hurt. You really do. But God is saying, vengeance is mine. God is saying, grow up, grow up. You gotta lay aside it. You gotta let that stuff go. Even the Bible tells us to lay aside every weight and sin that will hold us back, that will beset us. Those weights and those sins, those conversations, you got to let it go. Even in your mind, even in your mind, even in your mind, that some of you, that some of you, you have created, you have created a, um, you have created a world. You have created a conversation. You have created something in your own mind that, in every topic, you feel as though you're right. You feel justified. And like I talked about the other day, the Bible says that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, but stubbornness is as adultery. Stubbornness, adultery, that is an image. So in other words, you only is stuck on yourself. You're stuck on yourself. You're stuck on your beliefs. You're in a place where you're independent and, and in a sense that you ain't going to listen to nobody. You don't, believe, you don't believe nobody but your own faults. And so that's where you are. But as long as you're right there, you're going to stay right there. You're going to stay stuck right there. And so if you want to grow and if you want what God has for you, then simply just grow up. Grow up, say, just change. Change. Stop holding on to that old person, that old woman, that old man, how you used to be what you used to do, what you used to put up with. And you said, you said within yourself, I'm not going to put up with it no more. Well, when you get older and when you have true love, just like you said you have, you said you, you said you love, right? And so you say you love. And so in love, you know what love is? Forgiveness. Love is forgiveness. In love is forgiveness, but also in love is sacrifice. And in sacrifice, there's pain. And so the question is, how much do you love? Because if you love deep, then you're gonna wait, and you're gonna you're gonna wait until things change. Because see, the thing about it also, love stretches. The Bible says that love covers a multitude of sin. And if love, if God's love can cover a multitude of sin, that means that the love stretches. It means love is big. His love expands. Matter of fact, there's a scripture that says that 
uh, even when it comes to uh, forgiveness, he'll put uh, your sins in the seal of forgiveness. You're going to forgive them. God don't think about them. And so if God has forgotten and ain't thinking about what you've done, then why are you keep thinking about certain things that other people have done? Why? Release yourself. Forgive yourself. It's time to grow up. And and one of the things that that God is doing, and just at, at the upper room, in the upper room with Jesus, when there was 120 in the upper room, and they were waiting on something. They was waiting on Jesus. They were waiting on the Holy Ghost. And when the Bible said they had all things in common, and then when the Holy Ghost fell, and the Bible said they were filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spoke in different tongues, and and uh, and they spoke in different languages. They spoke other uh, uh, cultures. They they stuck. They, they spoke other racist languages. So in other words, they, they could relate with other people. And this is what God is doing with you. This is what God is doing with many other believers. He's changing the language, and that language is the way we talk, our conversation. And so this is why. God is saying grow up because God is pulling out that bad conversation. God is pulling out that hurt and God is uh, giving you something new. He's giving you new life. He's giving you a new focus. He's giving you a new view. He's giving you a new conversation. And that new conversation is the nine fruit of the spirit. And that is love. That is patience. The old conversation, the old, old you was impatient. The old you wanted to complain. Though you wanted to get revenge, though you wanted to punish them, but God is going to God is changing all of that. He's changing all of that. He's taking that stinger out. See, because the Bible says that when a man is in Christ Jesus, there's a washing away. When you become baptized, you become becoming baptized in His power, and you becoming baptized in His likeness. And the Bible says when a man when, when you become, when you come to Christ Jesus, we accept Him. You're going to submerge. There's going to come a transformation. There'll come a transition. And so when you go down, the Bible says you're going to go down one way, but you're going to come up a new way. And so in other words, you're going to go down the old person, but you're going to come up new. And so that's what the Bible says. It says that old things have washed away. When you go down, when you become washed, and that, and that submerge is when you have an encounter with God. That is with His Word. Faith. Accepting. Accepting. Forgiveness. Accepting His, his power. And the first thing you have to do, you have to say, God, forgive me. God, I know I, I'm a sinner. And, and I know I, I need you. I know you, you died for me. I know that you, you died and you rose on the third day for me. And I know that if I cry out to you, if I ask you to help me, you'll save me. And you'll save me from my sin. And now you save me from my sin, you'll give me eternity and life with life with you. And so that's all you got to do. That's all simply you have to do. For all of you that, that need deliverance. And if you need a change, and if you need God to take that thing away, and you might say, well, I don't have the strength. God, I won't change. God, I want to forgive. God, I want to let go. But I just don't have the strength to let go. I don't. Well, all you got to do is just ask God. God said, you have not because you ask not. He said, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, call on his name, you'll be saved. And so if you want to be saved, just call on him. And so this is your day. But also, I said, God did say, grow up. But also... The subtopic is going to perfection. And that is going to perfection means continuously being progressed. Progressed forward in positivity. Paul said, I lay aside every weight. And, and also he said, forget those things that are behind him. And then what he did, well, after he forgot those things, he looked forward. And he reached towards the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. And so don't look back. Forgive. Let go. Humble yourself. Grow up. Let it go. You're not 16 no more. You're not 18 no more. You're not that person no more. You're a new person. You're a new creature. Remember that. God bless you.